Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California and my channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. So I'm really excited about today's video because we are actually going to go out to the vineyard and check sugar in the wine grapes. So sugar in wine grapes is called bricks and it's measured by a percentage and I have this cool little tool. So we're going to go out, I'm going to show you guys how I measure, measure sugar and basically starting now I'm going to be measuring the sugar once a week so we can hit that ideal number. I kind of have a window of I believe like 21 to 19%. So we're just gonna keep hoping that I get there and that the winery is happy and we have a great harvest. But first I want to address one of the most common questions I get asked, which is where can you buy my wine? So actually I don't make wine. All my grapes will go to a winery and they'll make their own wine with my grapes. So even though I don't make wine, I think the best thing that you can do to support the wine industry and wine grape growers is to drink wine, right? So I've been really lucky that recently I was able to partner with Bright Cellars, especially with everything going on in the world right now. You might not be able to go out and go wine tasting or find new wines and Bright Cellars is so convenient. You just go on their website, you fill out a little questionnaire and they connect wines to you that they think that you'll like and I actually just got my box in the mail and another thing I like is they attach these little cards that have information on each wine so you get to educate yourself on every single wine that you get and I will admit I'm the type of person that kind of like once I pick a certain wine that's what I keep drinking so this has been great for me because it's making me try new things so I'm really excited about this one because I am a white wine drinker and I've definitely been trying to get like I need to learn more about red wine. So I did put that on my questionnaire like I need to try some red wines. So they sent me a Pinot Noir. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to hope I like it. But they definitely sent me a ton of whites which I know I'm going to love because I always do. So here are three of the wines I got. I got a white blend, a Chardonnay, and then the Pinot Noir I was talking about. It's six bottles. And like I said, each bottle comes with its own educational card. So if you guys are interested in checking out Bright Cellars, you can get 50% off your first box. They are offering it just to my viewers. So I'll put a link in the description below and I hope you guys check it out. And if you do, please let me know what wines you get and what you like, because like I said, I need to be more adventurous and check out new wines. So yeah, let me know how it goes and how you guys like it. All right, it is time to head out to the vineyard and check those sugars. I am going to irrigate today. It's actually supposed to be like 84, which is beautiful because we've been kind of fluctuating in the 90s and 100s, which is just too hot for me. So we're having like a week in the mid to high 80s. I'm loving it. Um, so I'm gonna run irrigation right now. And if you guys didn't know, my dad and I actually share this river pump. So when he uses it to irrigate alfalfa, we have to do a few things just to switch it around. So yesterday he was using it so I'm heading over to my river pump right now just to change a few things and then we're gonna get my irrigation started. So basically this valve here lets the water go to him this valve here the water will go to me so whenever we want to stop it we just close this one and then it forces it to go down my pipe okay that is ready to go so it is 6 a.m right now and i actually have already pre-scheduled my irrigation to start at 6 30 through my drop control app which is wisecon i will put a description in the link I will put a link in the description below if you guys want to check them out. My friend Ryan, the California farmer, I believe also uses them. It's a great irrigation system. Um, so here's 
the little box here and I can do it from my phone. I can see when the irrigation is running. It notifies me when a set starts and stops because I have two different sets. I also have a moisture probe in one of my fields and I just signed up for a grant to hopefully get a second moisture probe, which would be great because it just allows me to see how low the water is going. And it's also been interesting to see how it sucks, the roots suck the water up because we have such a high water table. So it's been kind of interesting. I still have like a lot more to learn about how to read those graphs, but it has been cool. So what I think we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go get my little tool. I think it's called a refractometer. I'll have to double check on that. And I think we'll drive around the vineyard and check the sugars. I've been meaning to do that. And we'll check if there's more veraging going on. Woo! So to check sugar, whew, we are going to collect three bunches from each field and then kind of spread throughout the field. So I'm gonna check a couple different spots. I wanna get like a couple spots that are like really doing well and probably one spot that looks a little weaker. So we are in the south field right now. We're gonna get our three bunches and then I have a plastic bag. We're gonna stick them all in. Everything is softening up which means verasion is happening. Some of the clusters are a little bit smaller. Some are really big. So let's see, where's a good one? This looks like a good one here. Let's cut this guy. But here we go, here's our first guy. I just got an alert that my irrigation turned on, so I should see the water starting while I'm out getting the bunches. Okay, so I drove out to the middle. I will admit my south field doesn't really have a weak spot, but the north field definitely does. So I'm in the middle-ish now. Find another one. <laughs> All right, one more for this field. Oh man, they're just so beautiful. I don't even wanna pick them. Not gonna lie, it makes me a little sad. <laughs> makes me a little sad cutting them off. It's gonna see if any were like still pretty hard. No, we're definitely got Verasian going guys. None of these are hard. Yeah, let's do this guy. Doesn't look like a very strong cluster. A little bit smaller. Okay, so we got our three bunches of grapes and the first thing we're gonna do is crush them so we can get the juices out. Okay, so here is my refractometer. You look through that side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just look through it and make sure that it's on zero or shows nothing. Yeah, I wonder if it's possible. So see how it's all blue? There's nothing on there, so now, we got, so remember the purpose of getting the three bunches is because we kind of want like an average of everything. If I just did one bunch, you know, it's just one area. I don't know if you guys can hear the squealing of my irrigation line in the background. If you can, that's what it is. So it comes with these little guys. You can just suck the juice out of the bag and put it on here. All this is is flat and it's got this little piece of plastic that goes over it.
Okay, so it looks like we're about eight bricks. I'm gonna try to put it in the camera. So you can see the white. So the white is what the bricks are. And I don't know if you guys could see, but there was a line that said five and 10 and then there's like dash. So that's eight bricks right there. Um, my goal will be to get 19 bricks. That's what I need. And we're hoping to go up about 2% every week. I thought we were actually gonna be higher than eight bricks this week, but we're not. But I will check the North field. We'll see what it is. And then I'll let my PCA know and we'll see what he says. Little guy for the last one. Okay, so we're a seven on this one. So at least they're not too far off. Um, I do want to check that bag now that it's been sitting a second, just to see. Because I can't remember if he said I needed to let it sit a second or not, to be honest. It shows the same. Okay. So we've got seven and eight, doing good. But that's how we check the sugar, a refractometer. And uh, yeah, we learned something new together, guys.